Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Um, this week's topic is internalized transphobia. I've actually, I think about this, oh, I think about this subject so much. Um, I'm a very feminine kind of person, a very feminine kind of bitch. So, for me, it's very hard not to do feminine things. Like, for example, Justin Bieber poster. Just like, um... When I was first coming out, the reason why I showed that poster, when I was first um, transitioning here at um, my college, I I didn't, I didn't, I was trying to be super masculine. And me, being the person that I was, didn't come off as masculine at all. And I felt that I couldn't like things like Justin Bieber or Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera or like fierce diva shit like I do right now. And there was actually another trans person here who was my big sib who I really looked up to who... Thinking back now really made me feel insecure about myself, but, like, he didn't do it intentionally. It was more just because I, I felt compared, and I felt like people saw him more as a male than me because he was masculine, he worked out, um, he was just, he was strong. Like, he was just so in-your-face masculine, masculine, even pre-T, whereas I was very feminine, I had a high-pitched voice, like, all that stuff. So I definitely have internalized transphobia, and I know that, and I don't think it's bad to say. I think that... As time goes on and as I start to become more comfortable in my skin and as I start to transition more, I will feel more comfortable with that. I don't think internalized transphobia ever goes away. And it's okay to have because, I mean, it's hard. Like, we're living in a society that tells us that um, we're a medical condition and that we're not okay, which is complete bullshit. But it's still hard not to internalize those feelings because growing up, you know, you see pink and blue, boy or girl. You don't see, like, an in-between or you don't see, like... You don't see transgender. You don't see that. And I didn't even realize that I could that I could be transgender, that I could be a male until I was 18 years old or 17 years old. So I think it's normal. I mean, especially for me, a lot of things for me in my transition relate to me being gay. A lot of things. Like, it's really hard for me to talk about being transgender without me talking about, without me talking about um, my sexuality and liking men because I feel so insecure about that, about being gay and about liking men because I know I have a female body and I know that I can't, I'm not the ideal gay man and that bothers me every day and it's something that I struggle with every day and it's something that in time I have to be okay with and I guess a lot of my chest will be a dust stem from that because I have a chest and like I don't want a chest, like I feel like I can't have like a relationship because I have a chest, which I know is not true obviously, but it's something that bothers me and it's something that I can't change right now and it just makes me always just hate being trans, like it always it makes me hate being trans because I feel so insecure about it. Um, but yeah, I I do, I have a lot of internalized internalized transphobia. And I used to feel bad about it, but I don't now because it's hard because society has constituted all these things now that even within, there are normal things even within the gay community, and I'm not normal within the gay community. I'm not normal within society. I'm, at least I'm not normal. I've been told that I'm not normal, so I internalize that. So it's just, it's really hard, guys, um, in my opinion. Like, society's been a little bitch and has fucked everything up. And it's just, it's hard, like, it's difficult. Um, but yeah, don't feel bad about having internalized transphobia if you do. It's something that takes time to get over. And it's something that I think a lot of trans men may have, in my opinion, um, mild to severe. Like, it, it doesn't matter where you are, but at some point, there is a struggle. I feel like there is a struggle and if anything else, it's that internalized transphobia that, like, is the reason. It's one of those things in our community that we can all um, say that we've had pre-T, post-T, pre-op, um, post-op. It's one of those things that we, in my opinion, I'm saying in my opinion, all have in common and can all relate to, if nothing else. Um, so that's all I have to say. Um, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a really good week. Um, a really good rest of your Tuesday. Good night.